Hey there, welcome back to another unboxing and today I'm going to be showing you the Soundblock Bluetooth speaker by Boom. Well, it turns out that I've been saying it wrong, it's actually pronounced Boom, but I thought it would be the same thing as saying Ohm with the B sound in front, Boom, but it's not. Anyways, moving on. The speaker comes well packaged and I'll take the speaker to the side for a second and underneath the carrying tray is the auxiliary cable to connect to a 3.5mm jack. It's fairly long and it also comes with the standard micro USB cable to charge the speaker and it can charge while playing music. The cables are well made and flexible. So next up is the user manual. It has all the info about the speaker so I'll throw that away. So moving on to the speaker now. So first off I'll remove the plastic wrap. Now the speaker can breathe. So this speaker has a very simple design. It's small and weighs 330 grams. The speaker is composed of plastic with a silicone case protecting most of the speaker. At first the rubber casing looked like it could come off and a little bit did. But the bottom was a bit tighter so I thought it was just a defective part. But later that night I was able to take it off so it is interchangeable if you manage to find some but I haven't. So because of this it is not suitable to be used outdoor in the rain as water can seep in and damage the speaker. It can handle small splashes but no more than that. On the back of the speakers where the micro USB port and aux port sit as well as the power switch. They are exposed so water will get in there. So now I'll get it paired up. So the speaker is running Bluetooth 3.0 which is not the latest version of Bluetooth and it is a bit slow at pairing. But I can still get a decent 22 feet of range with small obstructions. So the top here has all the separate buttons for controlling the audio, skipping songs, pausing and playing music. You hold down on the pause and play button to go into pairing mode. Then you have your dedicated call and answer button. Clicking once will answer an incoming call. Double pressing will call the person you recently called. Holding down for 3 seconds will launch OK Google for Android users and on iPhone it launches Siri. The speaker has two 5 watt drivers with the microphone enclosed in there. It packs a 1000 mAh rechargeable battery that takes 3 or 4 hours to completely charge, which is quite some time to charge up. It can play up to 12 hours via the auxiliary cable and 10 hours on Bluetooth at the 50% volume mark. Also, you can see the battery percentage of the speaker if you're using an iPhone. Okay, so for a bit of sound test, here we come. I am very surprised on how clean the sound is even at the highest volume. There's only a small amount of distortion, it's surprising how much sound can be packed into small speaker nowadays. There's some bass on this but it's not too strong that it overpowers the audio, it keeps its clarity at max volume. This is easily portable and I have a couple boom bluetooth headphones and earphones but not a speaker. Since I was really impressed with the sound quality of the headphones I decided to give the sound block a try. So it's been about 2 weeks since I've been testing this speaker out and it has been great so far. So some little things I noticed is that the buttons are not so responsive and the reason for that is because on the silicone cover there are no small points protruding hours to help press down on the button. So sometimes when holding down on the volume down and skip songs it has only happened once so far. And long pressing the volume button takes about 2-3 to three seconds to start adjusting so it's faster if you repeatedly click on it which may be a bit of annoyance for some of you. Something else I found out which is not mentioned in the description of Amazon is that the speaker supports multi-point connection. How neat is that? 
so you can stay connected to two devices at the same time. I found this out after pairing my laptop to the speaker after I had paired it with my phone and I always have the Bluetooth on my phone on because of my smartwatch. So here you can see that my laptop is connected to the speaker and my phone simultaneously. So if I play a video on my laptop, the sound comes out of the speaker. Now if I go onto my phone and play a song, it interrupts the laptop and plays the music from my phone. When I stop the phone's music, it goes back to playing the audio of the laptop video, so that's pretty cool. None of my speakers support this feature, just a few of my headphones which I really like because I'm constantly going from my laptop to my phone and vice versa, so I hardly ever use the speaker from my phone or laptop as I mostly always have a speaker or headphones that I'm testing out. So for the past few weeks this has been a great portable Bluetooth speaker. It is a bit pricey at $50, but the sound quality is great so I think it's worth a shot. Alright, so that concludes today's unboxing and thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.